Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set up JavaFX in Eclipse. We will be using the newest JavaFX in Eclipse version, but the process is still similar on all versions, so don't be afraid. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is install Eclipse plugins for JavaFX. The way you do that, you go to Help, Eclipse Marketplace, just type in, wait for it to load, and type in fx it's a bit buggy okay enter and this should appear and just click install okay you click accept and finish and now as you see here it should be installing. You should wait for it to install and then Eclipse will ask you to restart. Okay, accept. Okay, once your Eclipse has restarted, you notice that there's a new option you can do. So go to File, New, Other, and you see you can choose JavaFX Project. So click that. Just name it whatever you want, click next, exclude model info and click finish. So now you have your JavaFX project, but as you can see, whoops, there's a problem. Eclipse says that he doesn't know anything about JavaFX. The reason that happens is because we haven't installed JavaFX on our computer. And now we're going to do that. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is downloading and installing and configuring JavaFX. So you go to this page or you Google JavaFX download and go to latest release and you want to find this one, oops, SDK, and download the latest version, click download, save file and just wait for it to download, it's not a large file. Once you downloaded the file, just open it and you want to extract it somewhere. It doesn't matter where you extract it. So you extract, I'll extract to D, JavaFX. It doesn't matter where you extract it. It just matters that you know the location of extraction. So just click OK and wait for it to extract. Okay, once you downloaded the file and extracted it to any location, just be sure to remember that location, open up Eclipse, and the next thing we'll be doing is creating a user library. The way you do that is by going to Windows, Preferences, type in User, and find Java Buildpad User Libraries. Click New, New and name it. Java, FX, or any name you want, it doesn't really matter. And now click on it and go to Add External. And now you need to know the location of your JavaFX. This is my previous JavaFX, but I'm going to go to my JavaFX in, in the D disk where I downloaded it. So just find yours, go to wherever you extracted your JavaFX. I extracted to this D in JavaFX. So open this, go to lib and just take all of them and click open. And once it loads, just click apply and close. And now we have the tools to solve this error in Eclipse by going to test, right click click build path, configure build path, go to libraries, click class path, add library, user library, next, and just check JavaFX and finish. Now click apply and apply and close. And now Eclipse recognizes our JavaFX and we can run the program. But once you run it, you'll get this error. And we need to fix this error 
and the way we fix it is by configuring the build path so the way we fix that is by going to run configurations click arguments and in vm arguments type this so dash dash module dash path white space and here in quotes put your path to the folder we downloaded and extracted and put the path to the lib folder okay then goes another white space dash dash add dash modules space and now you put javafx.controls and then javafx.fxml and you separate this by a comma once you've done that click apply and click run and now you should see your default javafx container and that's pretty much it it's a bit complicated but i hopefully clarified it to you i will be doing a series on javafx creating super cool projects so stay tuned and if you have any questions about the setup if something doesn't work feel free to ask in the comments see you